so put in a mock scrape. I've tried and used a couple different sands over the years and kind of found what I feel like works better than others. These are the three main things that I use. I actually just started using these last year and was having pretty good success. I started using this about the beginning of September last year and it, it worked pretty good. Basically it's a, a little kind of deodorant type scent made by Code Blue and it's a pre-orbital gland. I started using this last year during September and I put it on this tree back here behind me. Deer really started hitting it about after two weeks of it being there they started kind of checking it out. Found this guy, Phillips Outdoors. This is his kind of wicking branch scent. It's called Buckhead and you basically it's a little spray bottle and you spray it all over the limbs and then in the scrape under you use the buck urine also by Phillips Outdoors. Um, it gets a little bit closer to the pre-rut and the rut. He's got some uh, doe and estrus scent, and I'll spray that in the scrape. Had plenty of mature deer come through here working it. Plenty of nice, you know, two, three-year-old deer and a bunch of little bucks. Um, even the does, man. I, I had pictures of does, you know, jumping up and licking the branches. And ideally, that's what you want. You want to start the scrape, and then let the deer just take over from there. And really, the only time I come in here and re freshen it up is if the pictures kind of stop. Okay, a couple of new scent in. And it's like, bam, as soon as you throw that scent down, back up and rolling again. So, I'm going to kind of take y'all through the process of putting the stuff on the tree. Simple. I do my best not to touch the limbs and try and get my scent all over it. But the code blue pre orbital blend scent, basically all I do is I just take it, get it on there as good as I can on a couple different branches. bit of a bonehead spray off. Oh. Kind of you don't want to be downwind though. That's a, that's a hot tip right there. Don't be downwind. And then I'll take some of the dominant buck urine. I'll kind of take the ground and scrape out the ground a little bit below. a ton of it so, um, just enough to kind of get that scent down and put it marinate a little bit but that's all it is too guys i mean simple as that and we start getting trying to pattern deer and you know finding good deer it's a really good trick especially getting out here early season but licking branches they're hitting them year round it's hard finding them during this time of year really what i do is throughout the season as i find scrapes and you know licking branches and everything i'll mark them Try and hone those into areas that are easy access and good for you to hunt. First thing, really looking for these natural like kind of funnels and corridors. Try and find them in those areas. From my experience, you get more pictures of, of good deer that way. If you find these little pinch points and funnels where deer kind of bottled up down, and lights out spot. So, y'all got any questions, comments, you know, feel free to, you know, leave them down below. Y'all got some other stuff that y'all find works better. You know, I'm always open for suggestions. You know, I'm I'm, still, I'm out here learning myself. That's all there is to it. Catch y'all on the next one.